Hey guys, how's it going? Shez back again and welcome to the first episode in a little mini series we'll be running in the normal 1pm career mode slot on the uh, on the schedule. Of course, this will be taking the place of the Dortmund career mode which finished yesterday. If you missed the final episode, then check the channel page for it. But basically, the gist of this little mini series is we're going to have a look at some of the younger players that kind of start off with the lower ratings but have the potential to grow throughout the uh, the seasons as they pass on career mode into some of the world's best players. We're going to start today with a couple of players we actually had at Dortmund so were there players that are familiar to us I've already got tomorrow's uh, two players sorted as well but if there are any players you'd like me to have a look at be sure to leave me some comments and some feedback in this comment section down below let me know which players you'd like me to have a look at and uh, we'll perhaps uh, show some of those players in the later videos in the little mini series but we'll start today with uh, Raheem Sterling and Memphis Depay a couple of players that we had like we say at the Dortmund career mode and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the series if you do feel free to leave it a like and uh, of course leave me some feedback in the comment section down below but without further ado let's get cracking shall we and the first player as always we're going to look at is Raheem Sterling as you can see I've kind of split it onto two sides and uh, on the left is his potential from last year this is at the start of the year. obviously he did get an upgrade as we went through the year but he started at 76 and uh, his potential at the start of the year was 84 and obviously in the Dortmund career mode we were able to get him up to 85 and of course in FIFA 15 he'll start off with a higher base rating and as you can see, I actually reckon he'll get as high as 87 or 88, uh, considering obviously in the past 18 months in real life, he really has come on. He's improved so much at lightning pace. He's gone from just a youth uh, rotation player and uh, last year was heavily involved in the first team, was one of England's brightest sparks in the World Cup during the summer. And uh, he has been particularly impressive this season as well. And uh, taking that all into account, I do think, given time, because obviously some players in, uh, in career mode can really reach the high ends of uh, the rating systems without actually, in real life, being, uh, you know, potential world beaters right now. But in uh, career mode terms, I do think Raheem Sterling can reach those high reaches of the uh, the late 80s, maybe even if, uh, you know, he plays 100% of the time for you in career mode, he may even reach uh, the 90 rating by the time he is, say, 27, 28 years old, as you get quite a way into the, uh, the career mode system. Obviously, you start off, he'll be 20... 1, 20, 21, when we start uh, FIFA 15, it may even be uh, 19, but uh, that's Raheem Sterling, and uh, he should go quite nicely another player that will grow quite nicely, and also has been impressing recently, is Memphis Depay, as you can see on FIFA th uh, 14, his potential rating he started at 73, of course again he has uh, had upgrades throughout the year, and his potential was 82 which already is quite high, but he has He's been, uh, same with Raheem Sterling, actually. He's been really impressing at the domestic level with uh, with PSV. And uh, again, having a great start to the season this year as well. And also impressed at the World Cup. Wasn't as heavily involved as Raheem Sterling was for, uh, for his national side. Obviously, Sterling started... Uh, the majority of the games and to Memphis Depay came on as a sub although of course Holland got slightly further in the competition than we did but still Depay really impressed when he came on off the bench and uh, he actually got an international man in the match card for having a good impact off the bench and scoring a decent goal as well and I reckon he'll start around about 77-78 so in ultimate team terms he will have been upgraded from silver to a gold and then I think his, uh, his potential is going to be around about 85 although of course similarly with Raheem Sterling that could go a little bit higher if you do multiple you know season upon season upon season in career mode then he could quite possibly reach the 87 88 mark but I think just to be on the safe side uh, you know we'll put it around about 85 but then my opinions on those two players of course feel free to leave your uh, feedback in the comment section let me know what you think these two players will achieve and let me know what players you would like me to have a look at in the future tomorrow we'll be looking at a couple of uh, young central midfielders so uh, be sure to uh, check your sub boxes for that tomorrow afternoon leave this video a like if you enjoyed and let me know what you thought of the series like I say in the comment section down below hopefully you did enjoy it's something i've not done before and uh, it's a nice little mini series all tidily take us all the way till full release so that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time